Welcome to the More Than Just a Doctor podcast. I'm your host, Lil Soprana, MD. I'm a life coach for physicians, a practicing hospitalist, a wife, a mom of two boys, a reader, a dancer, a dolphin enthusiast, and all the things. Just like me, you're more than just a doctor. And that's what we're gonna talk about each week. Doctor stuff, regular life stuff, and all the things that make life rich and interesting. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. Welcome friends. It's May 19th when I'm recording this. Tomorrow is my teenage son, Archer's 15th birthday. And I wanted to do a little something different today. So more than just a doctor, um, I'm a mother too. And I know many of you all or parents, <clears throat> excuse me, or certainly your children, your spouses, your friends, um, I want to talk for a few minutes about, uh, basically it's a love letter to my son, how proud I am of him. And before you totally tune out, um, I do want to bring it around to everyone and how this sort of thinking can add to your life. I do quickly want to make a couple of corrections and comments from previous episodes. One is if you listen to the Jamaican uh, flight cancellation story, as soon as I got to the airport last week, when I walked in the airport, I was like, oh my gosh, that was totally spirit, not Southwest. Uh, so I have slandered uh, Southwest Airlines. It was Spirit Airlines. It was the little um, pocket uh, gate at LaGuardia. So anyway. And then also, I have been corrected uh, myself. I just went out of the country and experienced a Pepsi product that whipped up on Coke. So in Europe, Pepsi Max Zero is much, much better than Coke Zero. And you can't get regular Diet Coke that I could find. So of those two, by far, Pepsi Max Zero is much better. So there you have it. I'm willing to be flexible. So. Anyway, now back to my love letter. So my son, Archer, is turning 15 tomorrow. And I'm just so proud of him. I find him to be such a delight and wonder. And it's been so cool to watch him grow over these 15 years and just watch the person that he is come out. Um, so he's this really quirky, smart guy. He's like smart in this way that's incredibly imaginative. He like loves to think on really deep topics and philosophy. And he likes to think about space and time travel. And he likes to connect all these dots. And he loves to talk about these things at length. Um, and that's sort of a delight to witness. Uh, now, he probably couldn't tell you the capital of Missouri. And he surely, he might not even know that Missouri is a state. Like he is always been my kid that I thought was um, like up in the clouds. Like that's where his brain lives. And um, it still pretty much lives there to this day. And it's really, though, it's so delightful to watch as he grows and uh, gets bigger with that. He's also extremely kind and thoughtful. Like this is a genuinely nice guy. He sometimes, like not all the time, he sometimes spontaneously um, empties the dishwasher, especially if he notices, because he notices if he notices I'm busy, really busy around the house, or I've got a lot going on, or he sort of can be in tune to my mood. And if he sees that I'm sort of uh, flustered and rushing around, he'll look for something to do to ease that burden. And one of the things might be unloading the dishwasher or um, for a while he did our family laundry and actually did a really good job. Um, and he is really nice to other people, other kids. He never wants to hurt anybody's feelings. 
He's always sort of in tune to that stuff. Um, and I just really appreciate that. I didn't teach him this. I didn't parent this into him. This is just who he is. And I'm glad to be around him. Um, another wonderful thing about Archer is he notices himself and he, for a 14 year old, almost 15 year old boy has very high um, emotional intelligence in some aspects. He's really insightful into um, his own emotions and his responses. Uh, he notices words and language. Um, just, you know, one example. We had a couple months ago, we had gone to a doctor's appointment and he found out he was going to have to have surgery on his hand. And partly the surgery was required because um, something had gone wrong. I had not been addressed and it really felt like my responsibility. Um, and we really was my responsibility and he had every right to be really angry. And he, so we're in Chick-fil-A drive through and he's like, he says to me, I really like have this impulse. He didn't use the word impulse, but basically it's like, I have this impulse to be really, really angry right now and sort of yell and raise my voice. He didn't really mean at me. He just meant in general. He's like, but I've noticed like when I feel that way at school or whatever, like I really just feel terrible afterwards. So I don't want to do that. Um, and then we talked about it for a minute and just that's so thoughtful and mature and um, he's a really cool guy. He thinks about his habits, like what 15 year old like thinks about their habits. Like he's always thinking like, how can he get better at this or that? Like really pretty impressive. Another really, really great thing about him is he's really not too worried about what other people think. And this is a big deal. Um, I think you'll go far in this world if you care less about others' opinions. I mean, he just totally embraces. He likes what he likes and what he really, really likes. He likes Star Wars. He likes particular movies. He's really into in-depth movie criticism. He likes sci-fi books of a certain order. And my son is really not willing to uh, pretend to be into something to get in with the in crowd or um, or like assimilate and look like other people. And it's really great. I mean, I think his life would be easier if he liked sports and were willing to like watch sports and talk about football and basketball and all that. And well, I've talked about this with him. I'm like, you know, we could watch this all as a family. I actually know like a little bit about football and whatnot. And we, like, we could do this. We could kind of get into it. And he's like, eh, nah, it's not really worth it. <laughs> I just love that he's willing to, he just wants to be himself. He's totally willing to go for it. He's willing to look foolish. He's willing to be the clown. He was just uh, in his class play. Uh, it was Moana. He was Maui and he'd never done a performance before. So it was like not his thing. And he laid it all out there. He was great. I was so proud of him. Uh, so these are just a few of the little things that really um, I wanted to share with you all about uh, my son coming up for his birthday tomorrow. I can't wait to see the twists and turns his life is going to take. Um, I'm so proud of him. I'm so privileged to be his mom and to be on this journey of life with him. And I do want to say a little PS. He's going to be a great catch one day for the right woman. He's really awesome and thoughtful. So now for everyone. We often hold our loved ones too close to us in our minds. And what I mean by this is many, many times when we're thinking of our children, our spouses, our parents, we're really thinking of them as extensions of ourself, of our reputation, of our 
beliefs and preferences and what we think is right. And that we think their behavior is really a reflection and extension of us. And I don't think that's true. Our kids are their very own people. And it's so, it can be so much fun and so interesting to look at our loved ones through that lens of they're their own person. They're their own unique individual. And look at all their traits as a completely separate from you. I think it allows a lot more wonder and love and gratitude um, so that we're neither responsible for or um, or have created the thing that our children are. So I want to invite you to think about your kids this way. Think about what is delightful about them, what is different, unique about them in a way that has nothing to do with you. You can also look at your spouse this way or even think about your parents this way. And I, I think it uh, really adds a lot to your perspective. So thank you all for listening to my love letter and my ode to Archer and consider thinking about your own family this way. All right. See you next week. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this episode, you're going to love working with me directly. Sign up for email updates from me in the show notes. I'll send you a fun email every week called Friday Favorites. Everyone loves it. Or if you're ready to get started creating your rich and interesting life, book a free consultation with me to explore working together one-on-one. I can't wait to meet you. You'll find these links and other resources in the show notes. See you next week.